Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to use the uh, Pro MIDI library. This is one of the libraries that lets you um, send and receive MIDI messages in processing. Um, so I've already installed it and I will just go to import library and hit Pro MIDI. All it does is put that line in there so you could also just type it. Basically, uh, this is the syntax for setting up a, an object that will handle all the MIDI conversations. And you probably know by now, but MIDI is basically just a protocol that everyone's agreed upon that allows us to communicate between uh, MIDI uh, devices like keyboards, drum pads, and things like that. Or we can just talk between two different pieces of software using uh, MIDI. Um, some software that uses MIDI includes like um, Ableton Live or GarageBand and also things like Processing, Max MSP, and um, some examples of MIDI devices are things like this and uh, oh, I don't have any others right now but uh, basically um, what we can do is just first of all just see what MIDI devices are connected to this uh, computer so that's how we do it using um, Pro MIDI and if we look down here we can see that I have this thing called Launchpad connected and uh, I also have a piece of software that either one of these can send MIDI messages to my program that I can receive and if I want to send MIDI messages out of my program um, that tells me that there are three different possibilities for uh, software that can see can hear those messages so if I had GarageBand running it might also show up down here so basically MIDI messages are either note messages or control messages and a note message would probably be uh, hitting any of these keys and a control message would be from these um, knobs or maybe you have levers pitch bend controls those kinds of things are control messages so um, those are really the only two things we'll deal with and uh, the easiest way to deal with this library is to basically say that anytime I receive a note on message which means I've pressed the, one of those note keys down, it should run a function called note on. And it takes one argument, which is a note. And um, if I want to, for now, I can just say I received a note. And anytime I press uh, a key on a, on a keypad, uh, I should see a message here. So uh, depending on the keyboard or drum pad, it may um, if you look, you can't really see, but I'm pressing the button once, it shows one message. When I let go, it shows another. And that's just the way that this particular uh, device works. But normally when you hit the uh, keys on a keyboard, there's a note on message when you push it down and a note off message when you lift it up. So you can basically just uh, add another plug for note off messages and... Um, any note off messages would um, respond with a function called note off. So uh, we won't see that here because I don't have a device that really does. That. Oh, actually it does. No on, no off. So um, the other thing we can do is see information about the note. So uh, let's say we want to know what the velocity is we can use this note parameter that it took and get information about it. So there's a method called getVelocity and um, there's also something called um, getPitch. So I will also add to this output um, getPitch. Let's see what this looks like. Anytime I receive a note on message it should show me the velocity and the pitch. This keyboard is either uh, 0 or 127, which is no velocity or uh, all the velocity. And velocity normally is how hard you hit it. So if you have a MIDI keyboard that's worth anything, uh, it'll show a higher number depending on how hard you hit it. Pitch 69 is referring to the note. Uh, in this case, it's a drum pad, so that note um, isn't sort of what you'd expect, but if you were using a keyboard, you would expect to see uh, notes that match up to actual notes on a keyboard. So this is the basics, and I'll show you in a, the next screencast how to use a different library. This is for ProMIDI.